Hi, student. I'm Pat Sam. Um, today's topic is what is exercise physiology? I told you last time that human physiology is a field of studying human body function. Function, right? Function. And the process of function occurs is called a mechanism. Mechanism. Pronunciation very difficult to me, mechanism. <laughs> In fact, studying the mechanism is the key of physiology. When you eat, your stomach full, right? And you sink enough, right? Enough. This is feeling. And when you are exposed to hot environment in summer, a you know, very hot day, so you will sweat, right? Enough, sweat. You know, these are the responses, right? You don't need to study to confirm these responses because you can um, feel and you can see it without studying. If so, how do you feel enough when you eat? Why you sweat when you are exposed to hot environment? What I want to say is that the process exists. Process. That's the mechanism of responses. Of course, there are diverse responses of physiology and different from each other, right? For example, sweating volume and heart rate, blood pressure and respiration rate, I mean breathe time per minute and blood glucose level, fatigue, you know. During exercise, mechanism of response change, right? I mean, level or size of responses increase or decrease. Exercise physiology pays attention to this point. So, studying the body responses and mechanisms during exercise. And the phenomenon of repeated responses is called adaptation. Athletes repeat their training is to increase their adaptability. Okay? Okay. Let's do it today. I'm always on your side.